expand your perceptions of time and in turn time will kindly and favorably dance with you i was recently reminded on a trip to arizona visiting a dear friend in the music studio that when we are in 24 hours 1440 minute day cycles of being in relationship to time we develop a false sense of urgency, of tension, of survivalistic stress. And that mode just brings us into more and more stress that cultivates in all kinds of ways. I'm not saying we shouldn't respect the laws of 24 hour clock cycling that so many of us are living by. But what I am saying is that there's a greater flow state that we can all live with. And within that flow state, when we find ourselves in it, we're in this wheel of life where everything's flowing and we're part of that natural flow. When we operate that way, we automatically have less stress because we're not living so much in future or so much in past, but we're just truly in the cycle of the movement of nature. We are part of nature. We need to remember to be part of nature because sometimes we pop out of it. So the construct of time in this case can be both esoteric, nonlinear, but it can also be a state that's also linear. And we can have that perception of time work for us instead of against us using that as a way of working with it like an emotional, energetic nervous system tool, one that supports us in every moment, instead of, again, sabotaging us, being like an inner bully, reprimanding us when we're not on time. So I ask you, expand your perceptions of time. And in turn, again, time will kindly and favorably dance with you.